London is just it's just something to do for everybody. I've lived around the world and I, I love living here more than anywhere else. It's just one massive melting pot. Vibrant. <laughs> Intense. Home. It's ironic that when you live in a large city such as London, you can feel so isolated and alone. Just so many people are just doing their own thing, moving about, working. We love London, but we don't want to grow old here. The explosion in growth in the cities during the Industrial Revolution was also coupled you know, with growth in our civic institutions. Our churches grew, voluntary groups, rotary clubs, the Women's Institute. These are the places where people gathered and learned how to be with other people, learn, I guess, how to be political with a small pit. 1910, this is the date of this town hall. People get together here and they meet with the person responsible for the policy making and everything. London now is 8.5 million, so you cannot have town halls anymore. So Digital Town Hall is exactly the same initiative. With the technology as an enabler, we are making exactly the same meeting. It's open for everyone. Anyone from his home, from his office, from wherever they are, work together on the solutions that the city really needs. You get to bring the whole sense of belonging, of feeling part of the community to a big city. So it's like living in a small city in the heart of London. So here there is a real community efficient. Socially speaking, I totally feel I belong to this place. I know a lot of people, I like a lot of people, we spend time with all my friends. Just to describe you how the market functions, I went to an uh, Indian friend who sells phone case to use his microwave to bake my flour. Then I'm going to come back to my shop to make my thing. I hold this truck of pizza for like two hours last week just to take the place of someone. Yeah, we all look out for each other, we support it, you know, because that's what you do with your neighbours, don't you? So. Every community where people know each other, there is this notion of um, you, you, you get back what you put into it. The spirit of being a good community member, a good citizen, and that it ultimately comes back. And you can call that karma, you can call that reputation, but at the end of the day, it pays to be good and it pays to be local. If you ask people on the street what they are missing in a big city is exactly this connection. When I was living in Italy in a small town, we used to say in, in dialect, bon dia. And now I still get this sense of good morning, good morning, good morning. And, and people look at you like, wow, are you crazy? Ali got lost on the tube and uh, she took the wrong direction. Nobody would help Nobody, me. everyone she was asking, can you help me? They thought she wanted money or something. Yeah. There, there is kind of, um, Sometimes a lack of um, integrate, in I can't get it out. Integration. <laughs> integration. Integration. Whatever you do, technology and everything, people try to perceive dark intentions. So if it's a guy from Facebook, oh, the guy's trying to make money. Even if he isn't. If it's the mayor says, oh, it's always the same politicians. When I think about the smart cities agenda, it has the potential to radically change and alter people's lives. And I guess for me, if you are not at the table with decision makers, you're probably on the menu. Bom dia.